Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the administration service for our microservice. I have already set up uh, the shared project and also created all the data project structure. So if you have not seen that video, please go back and then uh, see those videos to for this video to make sense. Um, in this video, we are just going to focus only on the administration service. Let's get started. Yeah, as always, I have created the blog post and then blog post has all the instructions uh, in which we are going to do. The first step is to add the reference uh, to the shared project we created. Um, so this is the uh, project we have created and then I have opened and uh, this is the administration service. So we are just going to uh, make sure that this service runs properly. So we have a we have our host here and then uh, these are the normal modules uh, which we have in the ABP application. So uh, I will first build this and then show you that it's not actually uh, uh, building because all the other dependencies it has will fail. So yeah, so we have nine errors uh, because it has a bunch of different dependencies and then we removed and deleted a lot of projects too. So let's go and fix all of them. So the first step uh, is uh, just check the um, ES proj and remove the dependency on the host.share because we deleted that project or leave all the other three. And the next step is come and then add the reference to the shared project. So we have tasky.share.hosting, just add that as a dependency. And now come and then see in the projects, we have all the dependencies correct. There is no errors in the project dependency now. So once that is done, let's uh, import that uh, tasky as a dependency here. So we go to the blog post. Oh, okay, that, and also it's important to uh, update the connection string. So let's do that as well. Uh, we have a connection string. Yes, we have updated that and then uh, delete that default. We are not going to use anything default. So um, I already has this database because I created it as a test. So I will add a tasky administration service as a database name. Okay, we have our connection string ready. And the next step um, is to update the dependency uh, on the host. So I would add tasky as a dependency in the host module. So let's go and add that here and import the usings. Okay, now this uh, MB, um, MVC UI multi-tenancy, autofact, caching, all those things come from this module. So we can actually remove all those things. So now kind of looks pretty small. Uh, you don't uh, have so much confusion of, okay, what is this uh, module depend on it depends on HTTP API, HTTP framework, and the application, and also the shared ones. Pretty easy to understand. We are configuring that in the shared module. We are configuring this in the shared module. So remove these things. You don't need this only uh, required for the development. This is for the swagger. Let's keep it like that. This is for the localization. Let's remove that as well because we already configured it. Everything else is kind of okay if it stays here. Uh, maybe we can also um, uh, change the course because it's also um, uh, same in almost all the applications, but sometimes uh, we might need to change it. So I'm going to leave it here. And we are using multi tenants. Um, so fix this. Okay. Now, do we still have errors? Yes. Uh, now, remove all the unnecessary users. Okay. So we removed all those things and our uh, host looks clean. That's pretty much it with the host. And let's move on to the next one. Next one is uh, we have to create the DB context fair. So why are we doing this? Because right now you have an entity framework core project here. So usually uh, when you create a new module, it's a good practice to put the migrations here, but I'm going to put it here in the entity framework uh, project. So to do that, uh, I will create a migration in this particular project here. So um, let's uh, do a yeah, factory here. And the factory name is administration service db context fact. So I will add that class. Okay. And uh, you can copy that, uh, copy this file and paste it here. You just have to make sure you have this uh, ng SQL uh, in the um, EF core. Uh, you can easily get that uh, from the shared project. So go to the shared project. This is where the EF core 
packages are and put it here in the um entity frame so this will provide the factory with the yes so we have our entity framework um for the postgres ready and what are we doing here is we are building configuration but we are building it by going behind so this is where our entity framework project is right so we are going to run the migrations here but our app settings is here so what we are doing is we are going one step back and then picking the app settings from this uh, um, host project and running the migrations inside this entity framework core project so that is what this build configuration is doing so this build configuration is actually combining the directory but it goes to the parent takes that and then takes the host project and then adds the app settings.json from the host project and then builds it and then gets the connection string and then provides it for the uh, db migrations once we have the db migrator we can do uh, administration db context so you will already have administration db context but uh, it, it is practically empty right, right now so uh, let's update that so move this and then update it so we are adding the missing usings and okay so our db context is ready we have inherited all the db context we need so uh, this db context contains the permission management db context settings management db context context feature management and audit log and uh, along with that we have all the tables for all these modules uh, we are using the connection string administration service for this and uh, we are also um, like inheriting everything using the uh, management so we have uh, added uh, all these packages and based on the package we are uh, importing these things once the administration uh, db context uh, is ready the next step is to build and then see uh, if everything builds so just go and build the uh, http host so it still has a problem with uh, some build errors that means we have some wrong dependencies so let's and before that we can also just delete this um ef core project from here because we don't need that and just go in and then check the uh, dependencies properly and then make sure you save everything and then rebuild the http host again okay, it seems like the using is missing in the uh, http api module let's add that using uh what else okay so that's it so once you fix this the um http uh so the um administration service is building so once the build is working let's try to do the db migration for this for uh doing the db migration just uh come and open the terminal once the terminal is open run the ef core db migration command so this will initialize the migration okay what you are seeing is that uh for uh the db migration the ef core design project should be added you can just go to uh EF core design and then you will find uh, yeah so you can get this nougat package copy it put it in the ef core project yes now we have the define design package let's try it again okay our migrations are ready so if you go to the migrations folder you will see i mean go, let's go to the drop we will see the tables which are getting created so we have uh, audit log actions entity framework uh, entity property change feature values permission grants settings entity changes and audit log so we have permissions settings audit log and features so all the tables are there great let's go ahead and then apply the migrations to apply the migrations you just do this database command so um open the terminal again and just run the core database update okay our migrations are applied now technically we should be able to run this so let's see what happens when we run this okay let's update the administration service entity framework core module so in the in this module we are configuring the services so the first thing we have to say is um add default repositories here because uh, we need the um, default repositories but also we are doing a bunch of other things so um just update this section with this 
this. So what we are saying is we are adding a DB context, uh, um, administration DB context, and then we are uh, replacing the DB context with um, with the administration DB context. So uh, this uh, administration DB context replaces all these four uh, DB contexts. And then we are also saying the default repositories is two that means all the entities will have default repositories uh, right now we have a problem with um ef core uh setting legacy time so we have to set this flag to let uh, ng sql know that uh, we should use the legacy time uh, because they changed this time behavior in the version 6 of um, EF Core in the Postgres. And um, the final thing is to configure the DB context option um, here so that uh, when the configure service runs, it knows uh, we have to use actually Postgres. Now with this updates, uh, let's try the uh, administration service again and then see what happens. We still get some error. Okay, the problem is uh, with uh, EF Core design, I think uh, we have to use version 6.0.1 because it conflicts with other versions. Um, I will update the blog post uh, with all these changes. And so for now, we can continue. So I have updated the EF Core design to 6.0.1 because I think the, that is the version we are using in uh, in the uh, app packages so once that is updated uh, let's go and try to run the administration uh, service again we we'll try to build it should not uh, yes the build succeeded and let's run the administration service again we have okay we have an error uh, which can be like um uh, what it's saying uh, it's coming from rabbitmq so ignore the rabbitmq for now we will set it up uh, in the later videos um Now we have the administration service running. So uh, let's try to run the app config and then see what happens. Yes, our app config is running. That means database connections are made. But in the app config, you can see there is not so many auth policies and then settings are not available. Uh, but uh, these are the settings which are available for feature management and then settings management. So these are coming uh, and then uh, the current user is not authenticated and we also have the features uh, for the settings management and we have multi-tenancy okay so the bare bone administration service is running we have the translation but when you try to authenticate it will be a problem because we didn't set up the identity server and things like that it's so uh, we will do that uh, in the another video now uh, the next uh, is to set up the administration uh, sorry not administration the identity service uh, and uh, we will see how to uh, bring the identity service here because ad administration service is where we manage all the permissions so when you go to app config here we should see the permissions um at least uh, for all the um, identity service here in the policies and it's going to be the same for the features and then the settings uh, yeah we will see how to uh, do those things um, and also this is where the permission management happens and uh, we already have the endpoints for the permission management but the identity service is not integrated so these will not work this is just getting the administration service running so in the next video we will uh, see how to get the uh, identity service running and then uh, we will go from there that's uh, pretty much it for this video uh, if you like the video please uh, give a thumbs up or, or subscribe to the channel it helps uh, the channel and uh, i will see you in another video bye bye